kutoka upande ya Garissa kule ni mama wetu wa Kenya ametuletea 20,000 shillings that act of charity Mheshimiwa Samburu Letimalo ametuletea a show of generosity that is usually the hallmark of Kenyan politics However, it is now official that more of these generous gestures could land politicians in trouble, that is, until the country goes to the next general election. Section 26.1 of the Elections Act 2011 provides that any person who directly or indirectly participates in any manner in a public fundraiser or harambe within eight months preceding a general election or during an election period shall be disqualified from contesting in the election held during that election year or during an election period. Working with the August 14th constitutional timeline for the election, the eight-month cut-off period expired on Thursday, the 15th of December 2011. The IABC says that it will put in place mechanisms to monitor and ensure that this is complied with should the August 14th, 2012 election date be upheld. The IABC explains in the new guidelines in the run-up to the vote that these fundraisers are normally used by politicians and aspirants to entice voters and dictate their voting patterns, eventually compromising the quality of leadership the country gets in the aftermath of an electoral process. And should the polls be held in August, and under the new guidelines, aspirants currently working as civil servants are also expected to have vacated their positions by the 14th of January to be eligible as candidates in the general election. It is a string of new guidelines expected to streamline the electoral process, but yet brings to the fore the unease that has been stoked by the also elusive election date. Will it be the 14th of August? or the 17th of December, or some other date? The Supreme Court has since declined to rule decisively on the matter, handing the decision back to the Constitutional Division of the High Court. President of the Supreme Court, Chief Justice Willy Mutunga, explains that the High Court still has a primary role in interpreting constitutional matters. The Court will be hesitant to exercise its discretion to render an advisory opinion where the matter in respect of which the reference has been made, is a subject of proceedings in a lower court. The High Court is expected to make a ruling on the matter on the 13th of January next year. Sheila Sindeo, Citizen Live at 9.